we're going to look at what we call ex equivalent expressions. So equivalent expressions are expressions that are basically equal. That means they have the exact same pieces, um, the exact same terms, the exact same value. So in this first problem, we've got four y's, which we can just call 4y. And then we've got 1 plus 1, which is just 2. So we've got 4y's and 2, which means there should be a plus sign in between those two, 4y plus 2. It's obviously not A. We've got it right here as C. Um, for B, it's not really obvious if that one is equivalent or not, you know, initially. To make sure, to see if it is, we're going to take this 2 and we're going to distribute it in. So 2 times 2y is 4y. 2 times the 1 is 2. So this one's also equivalent. And then on the last one here, part D, 2y plus 2i would be 4y. Bring down the plus 2, and that one's also equivalent as well. So all three of these examples are equivalent because they're all the same as 4y plus 2. And that's the way we handle this. We just kind of simplify them as much as we can, write them in whatever form is easiest for us to see. In this case, you know, by combining like terms and then just seeing which ones match. The next one says not equivalent. Um, so let's see for this one which ones do not have the same value. So same thing. It's hard to tell when they're in these uh, factored forms if they're equivalent or not. So let's, let's get rid of that by distributing. 2 times 4x is 8x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So and then let's just see if the other ones are not equ equivalent to that. So right away you can tell 9x is not equivalent to that. Uh, 5x minus 3 is not equivalent to that. Part C or choice C, 4 times 2x would be 8x. 4 times negative 1 is minus 4. That is equivalent, so it wouldn't be an answer here. And then this one, minus 3 minus 1, is also minus 4 with the 8x. So that one also would, would be equivalent, so it's not, not equivalent. So it's just choices A and C. And then it works similarly for the rest of these. I'll, I'll do a couple more just to kind of give you some more examples. So 3 times 3v would be 9v. 3 times 2v would be 6v plus 3 which is then, this is 15 V's total plus three. Um, down below, I see 15 V plus three matches. It wants equivalent, so that one would be an answer. This one's not gonna work. This is four times four is 16 with a V. That's not equivalent. Three times five V would be 15 V. Three times one would be three. So that one's equivalent. This one would be 15 V's plus three. So again, equivalent. And it works the same way. I'll just do one more example here. Um, combining like terms here, this makes 4a. 2 plus 2 is 4. So 4a plus 4 is the same thing, not 8a plus 7. Um, subtracting these would be 4a plus 4 with the plus 4 right there. So that's equivalent. And this would be 27a. So our only equivalent ones would be b and d um, because they have the exact same value as 4a plus 4. So using just what we know about combining like terms and distributing, we just rewrite these in the simplest form as, as possible, and then we just pick the one that matches, and that's equivalent.